Good evening, Kelly Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge, Day 54. Today, we're going to dive into the reports section of KW Command, and that is going to be your eighth icon down. It's, it looks like kind of a bar graph here, if you will, on the left hand side. And once we click on reports, you're going to get into a couple of tabs that we're going to review today. So, first is the dashboard for reports. You can see that the at the top, it's going to tell you how many total records you have in your database, how many of those are contacts, and how many of those are leads. Now, for me, in my world, I always consider a lead as someone that has come into my database, but someone I have not yet made contact with. So if you're bringing in expireds or for sale by owners into your database, those would be considered leads. If you're running Facebook ads, those obviously would be considered leads until you make contact with those people. Um, even referrals, if someone says, hey, I think my brother wants to buy a house, here's his information, I would put the brother's information in as a lead until I actually made contact with them. It just kind of lets me know who I need to focus on making contact with. And then contacts are people that I already either know or I've had conversations with, etc. that'd be in my sphere or past clients, etc. cetera. Uh, database health is our second section here. So it's a really important section, kind of tells you what's going on with regards to your database. Uh, this is a combination of the health score of all of your contacts. And you can see here my data, uh, database health score needs a little work. I'm very transparent about that. Uh, I'm doing really good on email. 99% of my contacts have emails. However, only 46% of them have phone numbers. And it gets uglier when we get into addresses and neighborhoods. Home anniversaries, obviously, that's probably going to apply most typically just to your past clients. Um, so... I have a very small number of past clients actually in my database, and I don't think that I have home anniversaries for any of them, honestly. Uh, birthdays, working on getting that better. So 28% of my clients or contacts right now do have uh, birthdays. I do have the ability up here at the top to toggle on this comparison toggle. And when I do, it's going to bring up agents in my market center, which shows that my market center overall health doing really well at 59.35. Could be getting better, of course. Uh, how are we doing against Texas? So 54.2% for the state. You can see down here all of the gray um, circles, if you will, represent how the state is doing. So 70% of the contacts in our state have phone numbers, etc. I can then check against all active agents. So there's 53.51% as the database health score average for all active agents in KW Command. Next, I can get into agents in production bracket above mine. I could look at my production bracket or agents on the top production bracket. On the right-hand side, you can see sources for contacts that have come in this year. You can see sources that came in for last month and sources that came in for last week or even yesterday, today, or this week. So you can kind of track and see what your uh, sources are for regards to command contacts in your actual database. A database activity score there at the very bottom so you can see uh, how often you are contacting those that are in your database 3.4 percent of my database have been reached in the last 30 days 4.1 in the last 31 to 60 4.3 in 61 to 90 and 88.2 percent not looking too hot there so one thing you can do to help correct this is if you have addresses for all of your contacts you can put them on a monthly neighborhood nurture that would make sure that this number got higher Right, and then of course, um, logging activities when you make calls, send emails, send text, or handwrite notes to your contacts. You wanna make sure that you log that activity in each one of their contact records, so that way this number updates. Of course, you can do the same comparisons here versus the same category of agents that we talked about with your database health score. And then you can also filter by, okay, how am I doing on text messages? How am I doing on emails as well? So just another way to sort that. In the middle section here, we do have the reports tab, so I can click on that. Kind of dives a little bit further into your database. You can see um, what's coming into your database, also with regards to your opportunities. So how many total buyer opportunities you have this month and how many are new, how many listing opportunities and how many are new, and then you can go through and sort by last month, or you can sort by year to date, kind of check all of that out. Down here at the bottom, you have two pipelines. So it's your buyer opportunity reports and then your listing opportunity report. You can see how many you have in each one of those phases. And then the average time for appointment active and under contract for both buyers and listings as well. And then finally at the bottom, you can kind of see how many new contacts have been added to your database and what activities you've tracked. So 
if I'm logging my notes, my emails, my text, I could say, okay, how many of those did I send out today, yesterday, this week, and even last week there. So a good way to kind of track and see, maybe you set a goal and say, hey, I wanna make sure that I make 30 phone calls today and I wanna log notes for all 30 of them, or I wanna have 30 conversations, excuse me. Um, I wanna log a uh, conversation for all 30 of those. I could just keep going and then come into reports and kind of double check and see how that's looking as well. Maybe a weekly goal and see how it's doing for the week as well. So that's the uh, report section here. You can uh, dive into goals. I've done a previous video on 2020 goals back when uh, this first came available. So I'm not gonna spend time going through that too much, um, but it's a great way to kind of come in here and just kind of track what's going on with your goals, GCI, goal conversion, and activity breakdown as well. Uh, guys, that's pretty much it for today. Hope everyone's having the start of a great week. And as always, I will look forward to speaking with you tomorrow. Thanks so much.